The look ahead line this summer on June was Michigan minus nine. The look ahead line a week ago was USC minus two. Now the real line is USC minus five and a half. So the question becomes, is there finally value with Michigan or have the national champs really fallen this far that it's a two touchdown adjustment? I've got the answer. I've got my 10,000 game simulation projection and I'm going to let you know which side to play and make some money in this USC Michigan coming up free for you in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down your Saturday afternoon national TV matchup, 3.30 Eastern on CBS. USC travels to Michigan. As I mentioned, the Circa this past June posted advanced lines, bettable lines on many major games throughout the season, and the look-ahead line this June was Michigan minus nine. That was a bettable line. Just a week ago, last Wednesday, DraftKings puts up some advanced lines the week before. It was USC minus two. USC didn't play last week. Michigan did. Michigan had a nonchalant 10-point win against Arkansas State, and the line moved another three points because of it. Now it's 5-5.5. Five, five so we're talking about a two-touchdown adjustment since June and over a field goal adjustment just based on last week's nonchalant win. So the question becomes, are we finally getting value with Michigan, or are they just a fade team right now? I've got the answer for that, and I also think we have a catalyst where we can trust Michigan. First of all, Let's look at my 10,000 game simulation that I run every week for every game on the board. And on average, and look, this factors in the first three games of the season. So we have a lot of data to work with now. Michigan by three. That's right. My simulation favors Michigan winning this game outright by three points. So yes, I do think this is an overreaction with the line. By the way, I track public consensus, not only for the NFL, but also college football. And USC is looking like one of the most public sides this week in college football. Another reason why the line is inflated, because the books, of course, need to balance their action. And we do get that catalyst here, I think, where we can trust Michigan finally after the slow start. And that's the quarterback change. Uh, this is a Michigan team that's had a lot of problems with turnovers. In fact, um, the six turnovers the last two games is really one of the reasons they've underperformed. And they are making the change from previous starter Davis Warren Two touchdowns, six interceptions this season. And they're going to go with the guy a lot of people thought would be the starter this year, Alex Orgy, who has two touchdowns on um, passes, no interceptions. And he's only attempted, I believe, six passes. And two of them, two of his three completions this year have been touchdowns. But he's actually not a passing quarterback. He's a run based quarterback. And that's why they went with Warren initially. They wanted more of a pro style attack. They realized it's not going to work. They're going to ground and pound here. And Orgy is the man to do so. Um, and this is a guy I think can get it done. If you look at his stats last season, he had very limited action um, last year. And uh, basically, it was all rushing yards. Um, in fact, he played six games last year and did not throw a single pass. And I think he had over like uh, 15 rushing attempts. So he's going to ground and pound. And I think they will have some success against a suspect U.S. defense, not USC defense. Now, look, USC did look better against LSU in week one. Can't take much away from the Utah State win a couple weeks ago. But still, they gave up over 300 passing yards, over 117 rushing yards to LSU. Yes, they threw for 378, but they only ran for 69 yards. LSU was a terrible defensive team last year, and so was USC. They do both look improved this year defensively. But still, only 69 rushing yards tells me that they're not going to try to run the ball. So I think it's almost certain Michigan's going to win the rushing battle, and they have the better run defense as well. And we're getting them as a strong home dog here. So once again, a good running home dog with line value Michigan's the play here. I know they have it hasn't looked pretty so far this year, but this is still a very talented defense that I think actually is the better defense. We get the better rushing team, defensive dog, and line value now as well, and a catalyst with the quarterback change. This is the week I think maybe you can start to trust the defending national champs to cover a point spread. Michigan Wolverines plus the five to five and a half would be my recommendation at 3:30 Eastern Saturday afternoon on CBS. And once again, the public is heavy right now in USC. This line might hit that key number of six before kickoff. Let me know your thoughts. Comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. Do you trust Michigan this weekend, or is it a pure fade for you? What do you think of the quarterback change as well? I want to learn and earn and win together with you here on Wager Talk TV. So include some analysis on other games you like. Let everybody know what plays you're looking at this Saturday in college football. But do comment below. I read all the comments, and I reply back. Thumbs up, like if you're finding the free videos useful. Thumbs up, like is always appreciated. Click subscribe and click the bell as well for instant alerts when these free plays go up throughout the week for not only football, but also baseball, college and pro football, college football top 25 video. I'll have this game along with three others in depth here on my channel with my simulations and also, of course, NFL fade the public this weekend for the most public sides for this Sunday. It's up usually Saturday afternoon here. So click the bell for an instant alert so you know right when these videos go live each and every week here on Wager Talk TV. 
If you want my personal best bets, and you really should, nobody won more units of profit the last two years in college and pro football combined, ATS profit at Wager Talk. I'm also ranked number one overall in baseball this year, including a 29-9 baseball run, and that includes back-to-back extra inning losses. And we're still 29-9. Could easily be 31-7. Back-to-back extra inning losses, and we're still on a 29-9 run. Last weekend was great in football, by the way. 3-1 and one on Saturday in college, 2-1 and one on Sunday in the NFL, 5-2 and two overall. If you'd like to get my strongest best bets for this weekend, including some really powerful plays for Saturday college football once again, don't miss out. You know, I love those steamrollers. In the month of September, we isolate a lot of big favorites. Last week, we had Miami of Florida and Tennessee last week that won by combined 133 to nothing. I've been doing this for 29 years. Not sure that'll ever happen again in the next 29 years, but we'll take it. Part of that easy 3 and one Saturday. And if you'd like to get my strongest best bets for this Saturday, check them out right now. They are loaded for my client, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget also, I post a free play every day on the page in either baseball or basketball or football, whatever sport is current. Check out those daily free plays as well at wagertalk.com. And while you're there, check out some great special promo codes this week. If you want the rest of the football season, college and pro combined, instant $100 discount with promo code FBALL100, FBALL100. If you already have football and you want to get that red hot number one ranked baseball through the World Series, get an instant $50 discount with MLB50. Or if you want to play consistently, take a true investment approach and win every day, going forward, a long-term winning approach, then try the All Sports All Access Special. Football, baseball, and basketball right around the corner. You get it down to just $3 a day, just over a dollar a play with promo code SM365 because that's an instant $800 discount on the one-year All Access. Promo code SM365. Look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes or the special offers. They're posted on my homepage right now, right below the best bets and the daily free play. You can see the special promos. Check it out. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X, Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.